Hey guys, this is Mike with Text Talk. Um, today we're going to be going over the tutorial on creating a auto run CD for any programs you might have downloaded that you just want to have that installation CD around for. So um, we're going to get started right into it. Um, first things first, Windows operating system doesn't really matter. XP, Vista 7, 32-bit, 64-bit, it all works because I'm using 32-bit software, so anything can run it. Um, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go download the Magic ISO program, which can be found at magiciso.com. That's what their site looks like. Um, you can also download the package from dmvshore.com slash autoruntut.zip. And when you go there, it'll automatically start that download. I don't want it. I already have all that stuff. And lastly, if you don't have InfraRecorder and you want to go directly to their website, it is www.inforrecorder.com or .org, sorry. And that's their site. Go to their downloads link and you can pick that program up. Um, okay, that's that. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. I recommend you get a folder just to keep your stuff neat and together so you can get to it all. Um, like I said, I already have InfraRecorder, Magic ISO. That's actually the text file for the tutorial. Um, doesn't concern us for now, so I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, I already have them both installed down here somewhere. There's Info Recorder and Magic ISO is hanging out down there somewhere. So the first thing we need to do, we're going to create the CD for Info Recorder. Um, now this is the exe file. It's the setup application. So what we need to do to create the auto run CDs, we need to create a text file called a it's an INF configuration file, setup configuration, and what it does is that when you put the CD in, it tells Windows, hey, I want you to run this application when you start it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Notepad. And it's actually really easy to do this. Um, like I said, this is called IR052.exe. That's the file name. So what you want to do is left bracket, auto run, right bracket, next line, and then we're going to do open equals, and then we're going to do ir052.exe. Now, if you wanted to put an icon in there, um, you can do that as well. I'm not actually going to use one, but it doesn't make a difference. It'll look for it. You won't find it. It won't matter. Your program will still run fine. So we've got that up there. Let's go ahead and save that as auto run. Inf. It has to be saved as autorun.inf. Um, we're going to go ahead and save it in this projects folder that I've got set up. And that's all you need to do to set up the auto run configuration file. It'll look different than a regular text file. You'll see it has the little gear wheel shifty madoo there. Um, so what we're going to do next, oh, let's go chase down a icon real quick. Stock images. And actually, I think I might already have a info recorder icon saved in here somewhere. I couldn't tell you where. Okay, not important. We'll skip that part. Um, so the next thing we're going to do, we need to go into Magic ISO, which is an ISO image creation program. The ISO image is basically... If you have a CD, an installation CD with, say, Info Recorder on it, that CD is archived in a file system called the CD file system, compact disk file system, and an ISO image is the data representation of that entire archive, which can be saved on your computer. It makes it easier to transfer to another computer via, you know, a torrent, direct download, what have you. Um, so, I don't see that hanging out down there anywhere, so we're going to go ahead and, there it is. Oh, it's right there too. It's a trial version. Um, there's lots of programs that do this out there. I use Magic ISO because it hasn't bugged me about buying it yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down this little left pane here, and we're going to look for wherever you keep your files at for this particular project. Mine is in the ISO tutorial not my downloads. It's in here. What we're going to do is we're going to drag up the auto run 
the infrared infrared infra recorder and then if you have a image file that you're going to be using for an icon you want to drag that up there as well um, you're going to want to rename that to something like icon.ico um, when you're in your auto run .inf you want to make sure they have the same exact name or else it won't read right so what we're going to do now um, let's go ahead and rename this to infra recorder and we're going to save that and we'll save it right on the desktop as IR052. So with that, <coughs> we have created the ISO image. Now what we can do is, <coughs> excuse me, we can go into Info Recorder, the program of fame that we're actually using. Uh, make sure you have a blank CD in your tray. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to Write Image, and it should pull up your desktop. If it doesn't, just navigate there. You're going to go to IR052, and it'll say a magic ISO document. Open. And then it's going to give you some options. Make sure you have the correct um, CD DVD drive selected. Otherwise, I wouldn't mess with these options unless you really know what you're going. And you're going to hit OK. And it's obviously not letting me hit OK because I'm not actually going to burn this right now. I know it's going to work. I've already done this before a million times. So, but what I am going to do just to show you that it works, um, we're going to go into Daemon Tools, and this is a topic for another tutorial but basically what I have is a virtual CD drive that I can use to take ISO images and mount them up and we're going to open this up and give it just a second and it's basically putting the virtual CD into the drive you'll see it recognized it as infra recorder and I don't have a uh, auto run up yet no, nope, that's not it. That's what's recording right now. So let's try that again. Mounting image. And there it is. Run IR052.exe. And basically that auto run that INF folder tells Windows to pull this up. Um, if it doesn't do that, go to you can view more autoplay options in your control panel. Um, you can set it to run automatically or to ask every time. I set it to ask every time because a lot of times I do stuff like this where I'm pulling data off the CD but I don't necessarily want to install. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, uh, you get done with this. Obviously, you burn the ISO to a CD. You can write a little label on it. And you can put it in any computer in the world with a CD drive and you'll be able to install Info Recorder from that CD. So, hope this uh, kind of helps you guys out if you like watching the videos a little bit more. Um, this has been Mike with Text Talk, and check back in often and be a new tutorial up hopefully in the next week. Thanks for watching.